Hello, and thanks for choosing Pebblehost. Today, we'll be showing you how to set up Votifier on your Minecraft server. Votifier is a plugin which allows players on your server to receive rewards when voting on server list websites. To begin, we're going to go ahead and download a version of Votifier. Now, for this tutorial, we'll be using New Votifier, and we'll have a link to this plugin download in the description of this video. Once you're on the page, we can go ahead and download the plugin um, by clicking the Download Now button. From here, we'll go ahead and click the desktop and then click save there. As you can see, new Votifier is already compatible with 1.15, and that's also one of the reasons we'll be using this version of Votifier, because our server is running 1.15.2. Now that we've got the plugin downloaded, we'll need to go ahead and upload it to our server. We'll do this by going to FTP file access in the panel, and then inputting these details into an FTP client such as FileZilla or WinSCP. We've gone ahead and connected to our server using an FTP client. I'm using FileZilla, and I'm going to drag and drop the plugin that we've downloaded onto our desktop to the plugins folder um, in our server. So once this uploads, we can go ahead and go back to the panel. And I also did uh, start my server just to make sure all of the files were generated. But now I'm going to go ahead and restart the server. So the plugin uh, gets loaded into the server and generates the configuration file we'll need to edit. So the server has now finished restarting and we'll actually go back to the main server overview page and click advanced and then additional ports in order to add another port. On this page, we'll just go ahead and click add port and this will generate a port we can use for Votifier. Now that we've added the additional port, we can go ahead and minimize this and then pull up the server files once more where we can double click the plugins folder and find that Votifier has generated a directory inside the plugins folder named Votifier, which we'll double click inside there and then find the config.yml file. We'll go ahead and click the config.yml file and then right click it to view and edit. And we can go ahead and click OK. And this will pull up the config file within our default text editor. And we'll copy the port, minimize this, and then paste it in um, ensuring that we've actually formatted the port correctly. So all we've done is copy this port and pasted it within the config.yml. Once we have that, we'll just go ahead and save this and we'll go ahead and click yes, that we do want to upload the changes and we can go back to our server panel and click the restart button on our server to then restart the server and apply those changes to the plugin. Now that the server's been restarted, we'll need a way to test Votifier to make sure it's set up correctly. In the Tools dropdown within the panel, we can go to Vote Tester. This will pull up a testing interface for exactly this purpose. We'll go ahead and enter in our player name, which I'll just enter in my username. And we don't need to mess with the port at all, as this is the only port that we've generated on the server. However, we will need the public key. Now, to get the public key, we can go to the server files once again. And in the Votifier folder, we'll see another folder called RSA. And within the RSA folder, we'll see two different keys. So one is the private key and one is the public key. We'll click view and edit on the uh, public key. And this will pull it up in a uh, text editor where we can go ahead and click Control A and then uh, Control C. So Control A will select this entire line of text and then Control C will copy that text to our clipboard. So we can minimize both of those once more and go ahead and click Control V or paste to uh, paste in the public key within this field. Once we've done that, we can go ahead and click Send Test Vote. And as you can see within console, uh, we got a response from Votifier confirming that the server has received the vote that we've just sent. Votifier by itself will not give any sort of rewards for voting. In order to do this, you'll need what's called a listener. A listener will do exactly what the name entails as it listens for these messages from Votifier and then based on those messages gives the rewards to the player who voted. Now the rewards you can typically configure within the listener's configuration file. However, we won't be covering that within this video. With that being said, that's going to wrap it up for this tutorial. If you have any questions regarding anything we've covered in this video, feel free to join the Peblos Discord and we'd be more than happy to help you there.